Hello there. How you doing? So during my live streams here on YouTube, I like playing on this Minecraft server, Origin Realms. Now on this server, we have a lot of custom items. Like you can see, I'm wearing custom armor. I have custom cosmetics. And pretty much every single block here is also custom. But like you might also know, I like to play with shaders. I use shaders pretty much all of the time. But when I use shaders on a Minecraft server that has custom armor, it will look like this. <laughs> Yeah. Now, uh, why is this happening? And how can we fix it? That is what I want to talk about today. Make sure to subscribe. You would help me out a lot by doing that. So the reason I'm seeing my custom armor like this is because I'm not running my shaders through Optifine, but instead I'm using a fabric loader, sodium and iris shaders. Now, sodium and iris shaders together are basically a more optimized version of Optifine. Optifine, especially for these last couple of years, has become more and more outdated and the performance is just lacking a lot compared to sodium so i prefer using sodium but sodium doesn't have something that optifine has and that is cit CIT stands for Custom Item Textures. And it was adopted by Optifine to basically make it so that custom items would actually show the right way when using shaders. Now, sodium doesn't have this. But what if I told you there are some mods you can install that will fix all of your problems? Well, there is. Because this is CIT Resom. And it basically re-implements the MC Patchers CIT, so the Custom Item Textures, from the Optifine Resource Pack. Now here you can read some more information on what MC Patchers is, how it was implemented in Optifine, and why it doesn't work in Sodium right now. But the only thing you need to know is that if you install this mod alongside your Sodium and Iris shaders, it will fix all your custom texture issues. So I just installed the CIT Resan mod. Now remember what it looked like before. This was my custom armor with shaders without CIT. And this is what it looks like after installing the mod. Like you can see, every single issue has been fixed. I can now enjoy the glory of this custom armor and run shaders at the same time without any compromises. Now, I do want to give a massive shout out to Robot, one of Origin Realm's admins, for bringing this mod under my attention. They watched a couple of my streams and saw that I was struggling with this issue, so they sent me a message, told me about this mod, and I will be thankful forever. I also believe there are a lot of people out there who don't even know this mod exists, which is why I'm making this video in the first place, to shed some light on this awesome fix. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. You would help me out so much by doing that. We're getting closer and closer to hitting that 40k milestone which will be absolutely legendary so make sure to subscribe you would help me out a lot and then i will see you in the next one bye bye